The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 607 Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is a publicist, and also she holds language retreats in Italy, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Cher Hale. Cher, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to listeners. Hey, yeah. Thanks, Sheena. Thanks for having me here. I like you said, I'm a publicist for a living. So that just means that I, if an entrepreneur has a book inside of her, a big project, maybe an art exhibit, I help her take that one big message and I spread it everywhere I can. So I get her on stage, I get her on podcasts, um, in magazines and websites all over the place so that she can help the right people and get them to see her work. And then I also, like you said, run retreats in Italy twice a year. So I have a website called The Iceberg Project. And people who are obsessed with Italian, I take them to Italy and we just spend a full six or seven days learning different activities and through tutoring. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Cher, what's your cultural background? I am three quarters Taiwanese and I'm one quarter black. Thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? I thought about this for a while and what came to mind, I think this is just based on like what's happening in my life recently, thinking about goal setting and like, you know, what we believe is possible for ourselves is Paulo Coelho. And he says, impossible is just an opinion. And I find that that's true in so many scenarios where a lot of the times we don't believe it's possible. So we just kind of limit ourselves. Thanks for sharing that. I totally agree. You know, especially growing up Asian, like we feel like we can only do one certain thing, not realizing like there's so many different ways um, to live life. And, you know, just because one person says it's impossible doesn't mean it, it truly is, right? It's just people's opinions, people's perception on how they see things. But if you don't see it as impossible, you can go out there and actually take action. I mean, it's going to have challenges, of course, but we can get there. So thanks for sharing that great quote. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? This is tough. I think it really comes down to having equal parts faith in yourself and in whatever you believe in, if it's the universe or God or whatever you want to say, to believe that you can like reach a destination that you want to achieve. So like despite your fears, despite all of your insecurities, despite whatever you think is like an obstacle getting in your way, that you really can like have faith that you're going to get there if you put in the work and you put yourself out there. Thanks for sharing that great definition. And share what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I feel like I'm still discovering self-confidence. <laughs> I can't lie to you about that. I, but what I think is true is that I have a really great client. Her name is Nancy Jane Smith, and she's a counselor. And she, always, she has this concept called spiraling up, which I think will resonate with a lot of people because we get to one stage of our lives and we feel like we've overcome, in quotation marks, like one obstacle. And then we find as we grow that we that we are encountering a similar obstacle, but at a different level, maybe a higher level. So I feel like that's what I've been experiencing lately is just that I like overcome, like let's say level one of self-confidence and I'm gone to level two and the level three, level four. Um, so I think that, you know, as I overcome each level of this, this journey to becoming bolder and braver, it gets just so much more freeing. It's so much more liberating to be able to say what I want to say, to ask for what I want, to speak my opinion in my mind, and to really like put myself out there for bigger opportunities that I wouldn't have before. I feel like I just, I become braver. Thanks for sharing that. And I love that, you know, what you mentioned spiraling up because yeah, you know, in confidence, like we're not always confident. We're always going to have challenges. We're going to have challenges that are bigger, you know, like you mentioned, like another level and, you know, it just takes practice to keep overcoming it. Right. You know, right. what was that point in your life when you realized you can go out there and overcome it and be the person that you are today? Oh, man, you know what? It happens at different stages. But like, I'll give you an example recently from my personal life. I have been feeling really confident in business. I've just been going out there and getting clients that I want and getting the projects that I want and doing all of those the, the amazing business things. But personally, I've been feeling really insecure about like my relationship and my body in a way that I haven't ever before. And I think that really diving deep into that insecurity and asking what is that insecurity trying to tell me or like what is it trying to show me? 
over the past uh, however many months that I've been dealing with this has been really helpful in helping me understand a different part of myself and helping me create a deeper relationship with my, with my partner. So I think that's a really great moment that I've had to go through recently to overcome. Thanks for sharing that. And I think I think that's something we all can relate, right? Feeling insecure, especially, you know, with our bodies, you know, we, especially when you see like the perfect body in magazines and on Instagram, we feel like we're not good enough. We are, you know, we're not that definition of beauty that people think that we have to look like, not realizing like beauty is everywhere. And like you mentioned, if we can work, you know, inward and start working on ourselves, then we can realize like, you know, all that is just external approval and that we can, when we can learn to let go, then we can have that, then we can feel free, right? We can feel free from all that. And, you know, because of that, what's your life been like now? I think it's been more uh, open. Like there's been more possibility for what I believe I look like and what I, what I think that my, my perception of myself, I think, has really improved. That's what I'm going for. Because we recently went to like, I went to this big four day country music festival where like everybody's basically half dressed and like everyone's beautiful. <laughs> I had a moment there where I was like, okay, the, none of this bothers me and I'm not constantly comparing myself to everybody else. And I feel like that opens up space for like deeper friendships or new friendship or like better conversation. It just, there's an overall like wider spectrum of possibility when you're able to have like a kinder perception of yourself. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you'd give to her? I would tell her, don't be scared. Don't be afraid of those, what we think are negative emotions, like the anxiety or the fear or the insecurity. I would say really try to open yourself up to what those emotions might be trying to tell you, because there's a lot of wisdom that can be found there. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's a great tip that you mentioned, because sometimes these are just, you know, triggers, right? I mean, if we don't have like these negative emotions, we don't know, you know, it won't help us to grow or be stronger or have that confidence, right? Like fear, right? Fear is a great indicator. You know, fear, if we use fear in a good way, like, you know, you're too afraid to go on stage, but you're going to do it anyway, then you build that confidence, right? It, it pushes you towards your dream versus you resisting it. And when we can see things that way, we can keep working on ourselves and moving forward and improving on ourselves. So I think that's a great way to see negative emotions because we feel like if we have negative emotions, we're a bad person, right? We're not we're not up the positive person that we are, but we're human and we're going to go through those emotions and we just have to learn to, to embrace them and work through it and see why we feel the way we feel, right? I always believe there's a lesson from everything that comes into our lives, especially like with negative emotions, like you mentioned, those emotions are telling us something or triggering us something to either, you know, go out there and do something about it or, or, you know, push us to become more confident. So thanks for sharing that. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, the best place to go is sharehale.com. So that's C-H-E-R-H-A-L-E.com. Or I'm on Instagram at three underscores what the hail, hail spelled H-A-L-E. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Cher, you can also head on over to the thetowofselfconfidence.com and search for Cher's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Cher for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Cher. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com to check out cool resources, blog articles, show recaps, and so much more. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.